Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and with Halloween right around the corner, I'm sure you guys are already busy compiling your lists of movies to watch during Halloween night. Well, I've got a recommendation here for a movie that I think would fit in perfectly to anybody's Halloween night horror movie marathons. As a matter of fact, it's a documentary about the horror genre, and it breaks down and analyzes some of the most important horror films and horror filmmakers ever. I'm talking about The American Nightmare. And The American Nightmare features interviews with George Romero, Toby Hooper, David Cronenberg, Wes Craven, John Carpenter, Tom Savini, and more. And the documentary breaks down and analyzes some of the most important horror films ever made. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left, and more. But one of the things that I love about this documentary is the respect and reverence that it pays to the horror genre, to the films in which this documentary is discussing, and to the filmmakers who made those films. Now, there are a lot of horror movie documentaries out there, and I've seen my fair share of them. And what they all kind of have in common is that they approach the horror genre in kind of a sardonic way, with it's kind of tongue-in-cheek. And it feels like as much as those documentaries are paying tribute to the genre, they're kind of poking fun at it at the same time. That is not the case in The American Nightmare. The American Nightmare treats the horror genre, treats these filmmakers, treats their most important films, and treats the horror fan with the level of dignity and respect that it, they, and we deserve. And The American Nightmare not only celebrates and analyzes these groundbreaking films, but takes a look back at the times in which they were made, mostly the turbulent times in which these films were made, and kind of breaks down how the events of those times shaped these films and inspired these filmmakers, either directly or indirectly. For instance, the film discusses how the gas crisis of the early 70s made its way into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or how uh, gruesome images from Vietnam that people sat down every night and watched on the nightly news shaped The Last House on the left, or how David Cronenberg was inspired by the sexual revolution to make shivers. And the documentary also features interviews with horror film uh, experts and scholars who really add a intelligent, uh, thought-provoking discussion to all of these films. And one of the things that's always stood out to me about The American Nightmare, and I find it absolutely riveting no matter how many times I've seen the movie and I've seen it many times, is listening to Tom Savini talk about Vietnam. In Vietnam, he was a photographer, and he would photograph dead bodies. So when he would look back at these photographs or just look at a dead body lying on the ground, he would think to himself, okay, if I was going to recreate that, I would use a little this, a little liquid latex, a little Rice Krispies, <laughs> this and that, and the other thing, to recreate the real gore that he saw on the battlefield back in his shop in Pittsburgh. And he talked about how to survive in Vietnam, you had to turn your emotions off to the point where when he got back to the world, he forgot how to turn them back on. And listening to him talk about Vietnam reminds me of listening to my stepdad talk about Vietnam. And that's something I've always wanted to mention to Savini. And I've met him at several conventions, but the time just never felt right to have that kind of heart to heart with him, nor did he seem that uh, open to wanting to have <laughs> that kind of heart to heart discussion with a fan at a convention. I also have to mention just how well made this documentary is from how it's shot to how it's edited to the atmosphere to the music and the music is fantastic the music on this documentary is from the band godspeed you black emperor now after this video is over search moya m-o-y-a a song by godspeed you black emperor on youtube every time i listen to that song 
it gives me chills. But I cannot say enough just how well made this documentary is. It's atmospheric. It's pitch perfect. This is such a wonderful, intelligent, respectful uh, celebration of the horror genre of some of the most important horror films and filmmakers that the horror genre has ever or will ever know. This is a great, great documentary. If you are a horror movie fan, you owe it to yourself to seek out the American Nightmare and watch it. If you've seen the American Nightmare, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. Please share with me some of the movies you plan on watching during Halloween night down in the comment section below. Hope you guys out there are all having a great, safe, healthy, happy, and horror-filled October. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gassman, Zachary Barton, Lauren Dixon, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bizdick, Steak Sauce, OG Myers, Mark Striano, Jeff Gardner, Travis Davis, The Obsolescionist, Chris Earls, and Kevin Fitzpatrick. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.